Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and I'm in a place I've never been before and doing something we haven't done before. We are at Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch or S'more as it's called uh, down in the southern portion of Missouri and I've never been here before but we are here with Long Creek Overland, the company that does all of our shirts and, and patches and hats and that sort of stuff. Um, and we're here for kind of a Long Creek family weekend. It's, it's us and quite a few of the other creators that partner with Long Creek for them to, you know, handle all of our merchandise. Um, so it's us, Oscar Mike Overland, Bats Off Road, uh, More Expo, Chris Holloway is, is on his way, my buddy Nathan and his ZR2. Um, he's got his photography stuff that he's trying to um, really get started. He does such an amazing job. Anyway, there's, there's a bunch of us that are just going to be hanging out here this weekend. We are wheeling trails tomorrow. I have heard great things about s'mores off-road trails. Uh, there's two Jeep Badge of Honor trails here. The definitely getting those two badge trails and hopefully not breaking anything else in the Gladiator. Uh, but you never know. Not gonna not gonna hold back. So I just got here. This is where we are camping. We've got a couple people in RVs uh, that are setting up, but I think just so far two of us are here. The rest are are on their way. But thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, going to be different. It should be a whole lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. All right, well, most everyone is here got the couple in this RV. They've got a Sweet Fortune 4Runner. Um, we've got Bats Off-Road that's over right there in the, what's that called? Snazberry Gladiator Overland. Uh, we've got Oscar Mike over there with their trailer. we got a Sweet 4Runner. Um, John Muncy over there in his JK. And we've got Chris Holloway right there in his Sweet Lexus. And we're still waiting on Nathan and a couple others, but I don't know if you can. You, can y'all you, can you see the moonrise? There it is. I have a cool, full moon tonight. But that's it's just amazing here. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna start a fire, even though it's kind of muggy and sticky. But you know, we're camping, so you do what you gotta do. But we're just gonna hang out. We're running trails in the morning. So it's gonna be awesome. Good morning. Had a fun night last night. As you can tell, it uh, has rained quite a bit overnight, but it's starting to clear up. I think it looks like it's going to, but the trails should be nice and wet and definitely a little sloppy today. So it just makes it more fun and interesting. Um, maybe I'll get to use that new winch and put it to the test today. We are lining up. I'm getting ready to go hit some trails finally. There's like 14 or 15 of us, so this is going to be a little bit crazy. But our fearless leader is in her truggy. So if she can't make it, the rest of us can't either. Well, we got a nice mix of rigs, a whole bunch of Jeeps, three Gladiators, a bunch of JKs, a couple JLs, a couple Toyotas. Two forerunners, a, a taco. Should be a fun day watching all the different rigs. If there's anything that you don't want to do, let me know. Um, I have a pretty good handle on levels of what people are wanting to do. And I think the white Jeep is our lowest vehicle. So just let me know if we get in anything too hairy, but it shouldn't be too bad this morning.
I'm excited to get to use my new winch to recover Chris and his Lexus. His center diff lock is not engaging. So he's basically just got front wheel drive, which is not good. And now he's on a skid plate. There he goes. He's up! Well, that was fun. Technically, we haven't even run a trail yet. At least, at least not a whole trail. Because our leader got zigged when she should have zagged and we, we got on the Matt, trail. can you back up just a touch? I can back up a little touch. So now we're going to run peewees. We'll come back to this one when it's a little drier, she said. Park 
are unlike any other off-road park I've seen. They're very rounded and smooth, very polished. I can't imagine getting traction on this. And just look how smooth that is, and how, how rounded and polished off that is. It's crazy. We made it back to our camp. Nathan, what's for lunch? Burgers. Burgers. It is currently 1.30, so we are starving. Um, we played a little too much on the things. I did not mess up my fender, so yay for that. Did need a little help from the winch to get me off of that, so I didn't mess up my fender, but uh, we'll call that a win. So we're hungry. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna eat lunch and then go run guardrail and some others after lunch. It's getting hot and humid here. And those guys are working at it. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Uh-uh. We've had lunch and we are back on the trail. I don't even know where we're going. We were going to run guardrail and there were people coming up the, the entrance, well, the, the, the normal entrance. Um, but now we're just following Katie around and just getting started on some level three trails, I think. 
But my one frustration with with s'more is all the trails are two-way. So it's very easy to be going down or up a hill and someone else is going the opposite direction. And I've never experienced that. So here on the right is the hill that. we're going to come down, Iron Horse. I've never experienced that at other off-road parks. They're usually one way, so it keeps traffic flowing. So that's really my only gripe so far with this park. Otherwise, it is very well maintained. The camping area is fantastic. The bathrooms are stellar. Um, so we're having fun. For someone used to wheeling in the national forests, this, all these trails that just go up creek beds kind of freak me out. I feel like we're doing something wrong. traction. It's momentum or nothing. This is the group that currently has regrets for staying down the hill and walking back up. The camera crew and the spotter. Three. Regrets. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Like a roller coaster. Definitely.
job. Good job, good job. You're hanging on. <coughs> y'all watched was it our bonfire run yes. yes our bonfire run video from this year nathan brought out the fire disc for the first time we had massive amounts of hibachi well that's about to go down again we got all this chicken all this beef we got shrimp veggies eggs we're about to cook it all oh and there's a crap ton of rice somewhere Chicken's ready, shrimp's almost ready, steak's almost ready. And we got left is veggies and rice. rice and veggies. Do the onion train, Nathan, do the onion train. The onion Choo -choo. volcano. Choo -choo. <laughs> Thank you.
I realize with most other overlanding style channels you get some beautiful coffee montage. I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. I wish I did, but I don't. <clears throat> so you get morning Coke. I'm about to cook my favorite breakfast at camp. Biscuits and deer sausage gravy. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know how much I love the Coleman folding oven. And this is a new one I found. Actually, it's an a really old one I found at a flea market and it's made of steel not aluminum so it's a little heavier duty and I'm just crazy excited this is the first time I'm using it look at that it's gorgeous so yeah pretty much like the main loop it's been so grand, like it's almost a trail on its own. As soon as you leave, like the check-in shack. And like a lot of their like ones and two trails have been rutted out enough to where they've upped in levels. And a lot of their higher levels are barely ran. Gotcha. And they're easier now. My thousand dollars worth of giveaway. Uh, it's all going to be raffles. There's some beautiful golden biscuits. Those right there. Bingo. It's ready. You don't like biscuits or gravy, do you? I don't typically eat breakfast, but I'll... And deer sausage has a kick. It's good stuff. Thank you so much. I feel spoiled. <laughs> we are finally off to run guardrail. It's just me and Tony for this one. Some others are going to run a little bit later, but we got to pack up and head home. So I'm actually leading this one and I have no idea what I'm doing or I kind of know where I'm going. So it should be fun.
Well, we're already at the last, really the exit of guardrail. You got two choices. You can go up that way, which is considered a level four with some big old slippery, smooth rock ledges. Or you've got this option here that's just stupid slick clay. So well, this is rated to three, that's rated to four. We're gonna go this way and you just gotta punch it and keep your momentum all the way up. I mean, what could go wrong? Should be fun, right? Oh, you were right, I wasn't making it to that tree. Here I can get to here. And then I have to winch up again. I don't know what tires he's running, but dang. Good job. I mean, dang. I was locked. He has an overlander with no lockers. Committing drive. Maybe he was more committed than I was. Loved it. It's possible. Wow. A little, oh, okay. little drilling going on oh, there. A bit. A bit. Well done, sir. Thank you. Thank well you. Well done. Much. I uh, wasn't sure I was going to make it. That was and, committed. Uh, that, yeah, that's about as committed as I've ever been. <laughs> Holy cow. We did it. Well, we are aired up. You about to head home? Yeah. Tell everybody when the Moore Expo is in April. More Expo, April 8th through 10th in Springfield, Missouri. Find out more information at www.moreexpo.com. It's going to be massive, and it's going to be awesome, and it's not going to be snowpocalypse like last year. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful weather. And come camp in the Ozarks. This is, yeah. this is your opportunity to come out and spend a week in the Ozarks, and you also get to go to More Expo. That's right. So. Um, the tickets will be on sale this fall. I think we're going to put the tickets on sale probably mid-October. Mid -October. Yeah, third yeah. week of October. So be like on that. the look for that. Get your tickets. Um, Mid-October, third weekend of October, whatever that Thursday through Saturday is. Rendezvous in the Ozarks is coming up really soon. If you don't have tickets for that, yeah. absolutely get that. Chris will be there. Come I'll be there. Us. We bought uh, 15 ricks of firewood. So That's awesome. If you so, want free firewood for your camp, Swing by the Moore Expo tent and come go. pick up some firewood. I'll be teaching guy classes there. Um, probably, I think I'm teaching another kind of um, MBUM, tread lightly kind of class there as too. So come hang out with us and see us at Rendezvous in the Ozarks. And we're going to have a blast there. We'll swing by your campsite for dinner. There you go. <laughs> but uh, we're going to head home from here. Like, subscribe, um, check out our Patreon if you want to see what we're up to and be a part of that, uh, that family of ours and support us in a tangible way. And we're going to head home now. So thanks for joining along with us. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye.